guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is a different kind of video today, it's not a full on vlog. Um, I just have two products that I've recently tried out that I wanted to share with you and give a little bit of a review on. Um, so the first one is this chia and hemp bread. The company is called, uh, I think it's Sukrin, Sukrin, I'm not really entirely sure how to pronounce it, um, but I will link their website in the box below anyway. So basically the whole point of this is that it's a low carb bread um, kind of substitute in a way. Um, so today I am literally just using a quarter of this packet um, and I'll show you the macros for that. So it works out as a kind of like a roughly 100 gram serving um, by the time you've made it up. Um, so hopefully you can see there so it's 163 calories um, then we've got 9.3 grams of protein uh, 9 fat so it is a little higher on the fat side um, but if you're going for low carbs and you're someone like me that struggles to hit their fat anyway then that's not an issue um, and yeah only 3.7 grams of carbs so if you're carb cycling and you want bread on a low carb day Here's your answer. Here's your answer. Just saying. Just saying. Um, but yeah, so it comes basically in this box. And uh, you do get given a little foil tray if you want to make like the whole loaf up. Um, and then basically each 30 gram slice would work out as uh, 49 calories. Um, and I think it's like literally like one carb um, but like I've just um, just making it into like one little serving um, I don't crave bread that often so this is quite handy to have because I can just make it up as and when I want it as per the instructions and it's so simple so I'm going to show you guys how I made it okay guys so here we have the dry ingredients as I said I literally just used quarter of it which worked out about 52 grams and then then basically just quartered the amount of water it said to add so nice and simple you literally just mix the water in um, and then once you've mixed it all together just leave it to stand literally for like one to two minutes and you'll notice that it'll thicken up quite nicely so it really is that easy just to add water um, pro tip, make sure that you um, put something on your tray that's non-stick because otherwise you will have a nightmare getting it off the tray um, as I found out the first time I did this. Now here I'm just making this into um, like halving the mixture um, and flattening it down into two, kind of like a bun sort of top and bottom in a way. Um, you can basically mould this into whatever shape you want. You can do one big roll, um, you could roll it out into like a flatbread, you could use it as a pizza base, um, you, you can basically just do whatever you want with it. Or as I said, it does come with a tray so that you can, if you want to, just bake the whole thing as a loaf, um, if you're the kind of person that eats, you know, bread quite frequently anyway. Uh, so there we go, just kind of rounded it off, fairly flat, which also means it cooks a little quicker. Okay, so on to product number two. Now this one, I just love it. Just, it's, for someone like me who's got a real sweet tooth, this is just fantastic. So, basically, same company again. And this is, you can see I've opened it already. It's like a substitute icing sugar. Um, so basically it's made from two main things. Uh, stevia, which I use quite a lot as a sweetener anyway, which is derived from a plant extract. So it's not like all the other sweeteners of which are artificial. Um, so obviously the, the health wise it's, you know, um, a lot better for you. And the second one um, is one you might have heard of called erythritol. Um, now, I'll just share a bit of information about that for with you. Um, now, erythritol is actually 0.24 calories per gram. 
so it's pretty much negligible unless you're gonna sit and eat like a good kilo's worth and trust me I think you would feel physically sick because it's very very sweet um, now you will find some products that contain it and legally uh, it's mostly American products legally they have to count the carbs for it but your body actually doesn't absorb 90% um, of erythritol, it doesn't digest it, it doesn't do anything with it, your body just excretes it. Um, so there's no need really to track it. Now, um, it's not in many things, uh, especially over here in the UK, but if you're like me and you sometimes do get products from America, um, main one being, um, if you've ever tried those, oh yeah, low carb bars. Um, when you put that in my fitness pal, they come up as, I think it's 24 grams of carbs, um, but 10 of that is actually erythritol. So you can actually go in and put in my fitness pal, like the bar, minus erythritol, and it will subtract the carbs off for you. So it's actually only 14, because um, basically you just, you, you don't need to track it. Um, save yourself some carbs for the day genius. Um, you might find some other frozen yoghurt things with it in. But as I say, I think it's really more an American thing. Um, but you know, it, it's worth looking out for because you can save yourself a ton of carbs. Um, so yeah, so this is made with erythritol, hence zero calorie. Because, um, well I mean, even if you use 100 grams, it's 2.4 calories. Like, if you're that diligent about tracking everything, then fine, go for it. But in my opinion, it's not worth it. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of information for you. Um, so yeah, so you can use this just basically like you would a normal icing sugar. What I've been doing with it is teaming it up with some light cream cheese. This is just Philadelphia's lightest. And you can actually sit here and eat this entire tub for 144 calories. It's about 10 carbs and 20 protein and I think maybe 3 to 4 grams of fat. Um, yeah, under 5 grams of fat anyway. So there's like hardly anything. And if you mix this with the icing sugar, it's just like cheesecake. Like under 150 calorie cheesecake. Just blown it out of the water. I mean, if you if you're craving something sweet, this is this is gonna hit it. And and honestly, by the time you've mixed in a whole tub of this with some of that, um, like it's quite sickening actually to sit and eat the entire thing. So you can make that spread across. Um, you know, several like you can make up little desserts, you could chuck some of the flavour bits in it, a couple of little mini marshmallows or something like that, I don't know. Or you could crush a few biscuits, you could use it to top something, you could use it as a dip. It's just so versatile. Um, you can use it to like dust your pancakes. Um, it does say you can make like buttercream for on top of your cakes with like butter but you know if you're like me and you're not really going to be baking cakes then it's not necessary but if you want to lower your sugar intake um, then this is your go-to. Other suggestions include chucking it in a smoothie to sweeten it up, um, squeeze some lemons or some limes and add a bit of this just to take away from that like citrus just make it a bit sweeter. There's so much you can do with this as I say, zero calorie. It's just changed the game for me. Um, so yeah, check out this company because they also do a bunch of other products too. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I think it's you know brilliant. Um, and as I say, it's um, I think it's gluten free as well. Yeah, so it's suitable for vegans, diabetics, um, and it's gluten free. As I say, it all comes from plant extracts, um, and the erythritol, I believe, it should say, 
Mm. Mm, okay, maybe it wasn't on here I found out, but I think it naturally derives in some fruits and things like that as well, so it's all natural. Don't panic, people. Don't panic. Um, so yeah, hope you found that useful. Go check the products out. Um, I love them and I'm sure you will too. This is not sponsored in any set, any way at all. I wish it was, because if they want to send me some more of this stuff, then um, I'd be more than happy to review their other products. Just saying. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, completely unsponsored. This is my personal opinion. Um, and I hopefully hope that, you know, you guys can benefit from it too. Um, so yeah, see ya. And I know she'll be dead for me, at least we'll both be numb And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young This I know, yeah, this I know She told me don't worry about it She told me don't worry no more We both know you can't go When we're deep in love, yes I know